Hello and welcome. This is Chrisanne and I'm coming at you from Elemental Energies with Chrisanne. And we are going to be doing the weekly psychic prediction for the week of September 29th until October 6th of 2024. Not only are we going to be doing the weekly psychic prediction, but we're also going to be doing a look and deck review of the Golden Future Oracle by Diana Cooper. Artwork is by Space Before. I am a huge fan of Diana Cooper. Many, many, many moons ago, on her first trip to the States to teach, I was lucky to be in three, all three <laughs> of her classes. Very first time she taught here, and ah, oh, what a treat that was. She is the real deal. I think she is absolutely wonderful. You can check out Diana Cooper on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, get on her newsletter. She has some wonderful, wonderful things. This is her latest deck. I have not looked at it. I didn't look at any previews or anything of it because I wanted it to be, you know, my, my honest reaction. This is a 44 card deck and guidebook. It is put out by Hay House. So let's give it a look. It retails for $24.99 at the making of this video. So let's see. Let's put that over here. Here is the book. It's a fairly substantial book. Uh, talks a little bit about how to use the cards, how to meditate with the cards. There seems to be two pages on each card, information on each card. So, yeah. Okay. One thing I do notice is there's no picture that corresponds with the card. But that's okay. You don't need it because there's a number. So, okay. Let's keep going. But this is the Golden Future Oracle. Let me, um, oh, let's see. Oh, it says it right there. All right. Of course, you can't see it with the reflection. Yeah, that's not working. There, we'll do that. You can see it sitting on top of my garnet. Okay, so let's just pull this out of here. Let's pop the belly band off. Get rid of that. Oh, nice feel to the cards. They are a decent weight. Car oh, that's pretty. Do they all have the same? Oh, they do. They all have the same on the back. Very, very, very pretty. Nice weight card. It is a gloss finish card. It is very um, collage looking, actually, from what I can see for all of these. So let's go through each card. So this is number one, population, seize your opportunities. Number two, community life, embrace fifth dimensional society. So you look up this number in correlation with the book to see what it has to say. That's neat. The new children, be all you can be. Number four, family relationships. Attune heart to heart. Mm, nice. Oh, that one's cool. Education. Expand your right brain creativity. Mm, that's important. Six, leisure and sport. Participate and have fun. Number seven is creativity. Express your soul energy. That's pretty. Eight, is music. Bring yourself into divine harmony. Nine, home. Live in an ecological, creative, and fun space. Oh, well, that one's cool. Ten, food. Choose locally grown organic produce. Eleven, communal markets. Trust that all you need will come to you. Twelve, clothing. Let your outer express your inner. 13. Work satisfaction. Seek that which fulfills your soul. 14. Health and healing. Tune in to your divine blueprint. 15. Travel. Find ecological ways to explore the world. 
That's a cool card. 16, psychic gifts. Learn to trust your intuition. Oh, that's a good one. 17, teleport and levitation. Expand your gifts and powers. 18, manifestation and mind control. That's the same one that's the cover. 19, sexuality. Express pure love. 20, robots. Set yourself free with wisdom. 21, the economy. Trust your needs will be met. 22, the law. Act with common sense and responsibility. 23, nature. Tune into the natural world. 24, our beautiful planet. Restore the natural world. 25, animals. Honor the animal kingdom. 26, the waters of the planet. That's cool. 27, the 12 chakras follow your ascension path. 28, angels. Ask the angels. 29, dragons. Send dragons to heal the world. 30, unicorns. Spread the light of unicorns. 31, illuminated masters. Be a spreader of love. 32, leadership and decision. Make choices for the highest good of all. 33, blueprint for a 5D humanity. Remember your gifts and powers. 34, jump shift your life. Tune into crystals. Hmm, that's cool. 35, planetary cleansing. Keep your space pure and clear. 36, golden stellar internet. Communicate in a fifth dimensional way. 37, intergalactic travel. Regard the stars with wonder. 38, free energy. Be a powerhouse. 39, crystalline light body. Build your crystalline Merkaba. Hmm, these are really cool. 40, the golden cities. Live ecological and harmoniously. 41, the super love portal. Accept yourself as a cosmic being. 42, world peace and cooperation. Choose harmlessness and teamwork. 43, spiritual technology. Expand your imagination and share your visions. 44, group consciousness. Embrace oneness. Okay, so I like these. I like these because they are a little bit more, I would say, higher vibration. And that's sort of, <laughs> I guess, where I like to live. So, I mean, this is definitely a deck that I like. What I want to do is I want to pick one card and I want to pull the book. Normally I don't use books, but in this case, I want to pull a card. I want to look it in the book and I want to see what does the book have to say about that as opposed to what I would say about it or, or what you think is. So act with common sense and responsibility, the law. So this is number 22. So what Diana has to say is act with common sense and responsibility. As the consciousness of the world rises, there will be no lawyers or laws as we know them now, no courts and no judgments. They will not be needed for the legal rules will automatically re re be replaced by personal accountability, common sense and decisions taken for the highest good. In the fifth dimension, there is no blame. Everyone will recognize that they attract conditions and circumstances into their lives according to their energy. Therefore, individuals will take responsibility for themselves, their health, their life, and all that happens to them. At the same time, everyone will understand that we all have a responsibility to others. So we'll behave with honor and integrity and take wise and fair decisions. Good sense and accountability will go hand in hand. In the golden future, everyone will take responsibility for their lives and act sensibly for the benefit of others. And then it says the guidance. When 
you receive this card, it suggests that you will look at a situation or relationship in your life with honesty and common sense. Be fair to all sides as you consider things from every angle and take responsibility for your own words of a or actions. Even more important, look at the thoughts and emotions you hold, for these will help to attract and create a situation or relationship. It is time to let go of your ego and visualize all outcome that is right and fair and brings happiness to everyone concerned. If you need assistance to take a wise decision, ask Pallas Athena, who was a high priestess in Atlantis and known as the goddess of truth to guide you. She understands with compassion all your underlying motives. She also sees through illusion and will impress truth and integrity into you so that you make choices that are right and just. She will enable your light to shine brightly. Mm, okay, I like that. So I like that there's a correlation to a, a guide or somebody that we can call on within this book. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I'm a fan of anything she does. I just, I have to say that of that um i find this to be a little bit more high va vibrational than some of her others i have a whole <laughs> section of I, I have um over 150 decks right here on my desk and i have a whole diana cooper section of all of her decks so yeah this will be added into that rotation in all honesty this will be one i will definitely use um i think i'm actually going to use this one for myself as well as others when i say i have 150 decks it's because i am guided to use different decks i use up to 20 decks when i do a private reading for somebody depending on the time that they book with me um and my guides their guides pick the decks so that's that's why i have so many so let's do a reading for all of us for this week. So it's the week of September 29th to October 6th of 2024. Clear my cards. Let's start pulling. And you know what? We're going to pull five cards this week. Okay. So the very first card we pulled, oh, very applicable. <laughs> the economy. Trust your needs will be met. So um, depending where you are, I'm, I'm here in the U S depending where you are in the U S the economy has been super hard hit this week with some really bad storms. So I know people are really feeling it. So anything you can do to help people, especially in the Southern part of Florida, all the way up to Ohio plus in this country, a really, really hard hit. So the economy has taken a hit and will continue to take a hit. So you need to live your highest and best and trust that help is coming. Things are coming. Ask your guides, ask your angels. Help is on the way. The next card we have <laughs> very much piggybacks with this card, actually is the card of population. So seize your opportunities. Like I said, if you're in one of those places that are hard hit by the storms, the population, you're going to be relying upon your neighbors. We rely on our neighbors anyways, whether it's good times or bad times. And we need to sort of establish a better sense of community uh, for those that are around us. But when you're in hard times, community, neighbors, friends, uh, family, etc. Those are the people that we have to rely on. We can't expect everything to magically come in, unfortunately. The next card for this week is Illuminated Masters. Be a spreader of love. You can't expect wonderful positive energy to be coming in if you are not spreading that wonderful powerful energy and how do you do that you call in your masters you call in your guides you call in your angels you call in those that can step in and help you and if you think they're not listening call them in again when you call them in, there are times that things might appear to be going for the negative, but it could be for the positive. It could be something's happening to hold you back from something that you weren't meant to be part of, or 
things aren't going your way in that particular job, you're not meant to be at that job. You're meant to be at that job. Do you know what I'm saying? So when you call in your guides, your ancestors, your illuminated masters, call them in because they are seeing the bigger, biggest picture for you. The next card is <laughs> the waters of the planet. Okay. Bless the rain, rivers, and oceans. Now, I know what Diana Cooper's meaning of this card is just because <laughs> I studied with her. I know, I know her deal. So she firmly believes, and I agree with her. Every time you pass a puddle, you send a little bit of energy. You send a little bit of positivity. If you're a Reiki master, you're a Reiki practitioner, or any energy worker, you send positive love and light to even something as simple as a puddle. You send love and light to your cup of water. You send love and light to the oceans, to the rivers. Why? Because our planet is mostly made of water. Our bodies are mostly made of water. We need water to survive. We need water within our bodies and around our bodies to survive. So the more you spend time sending love and light to the waters of the planet, the higher we can raise the vibration of the planet. Now, I chuckle because if you look back at what we had here with the economy... And what we add here with the population, those have been greatly affected by the waters of the planet. The waters of this planet started to take over from Florida to Ohio. And, you know, as one of my friends in the affected area said, I'm now seeing lakes where there were no lakes before. So the waters are taking over and we need to have honor and respect for the water that we have around us. The very last card that I'm pulling for this week is the card of robots. Set yourself free with wisdom. Know that you have the ability to be able to get through anything and everything. You can use your higher abilities. You can use your intuition. You can call in your guides. You can use your skills and talents that you have here in this lifetime, and you're going to need to use them this week. This is going to be a really powerful week of honoring and respecting a lot of the stuff that the planet has brought us this week, depending on where you're living specifically, but also honor and respecting your skills, your talents, your guides, your loved ones, your intellect, and recognizing if there's things you can't do, call in those that can. This is going to be a little bit of a powerful week. This is going to be a really shifting week. What we had a week ago is not what we have this week. The week of this energy is shaking it up and now dealing with the pieces as they fall. You know, when you play jacks, you pick up the jacks, you toss them down, you play it as they fall. That's the energy of this week. We're playing it as it falls. It may not be what we want, but it might be what we need. I wish everybody well, especially those that are picking up the pieces after this horrendous storm systems that we just had. My heart goes out to all of you. I wish you all well. Take care and be free.